Hello friends and welcome back to House of Props. In today's video, I'm going to make this axe to accompany my previous Viking Shield build. Before I start building, if you would like to help support this channel, you can buy channel merch from the links below. Every little bit helps and is greatly appreciated. Now let's get started. I trace the template onto one piece of 10mm foam. Instead of cutting each one out separately, I'm going to show you a step to save time. While I trace, go ahead and click the subscribe and notification buttons so you can be notified when new projects are released. Or if you're able to, scan this code so you can have this channel on your phone for when you're on the go. I'm using textured mats, so I want to make sure that this is always on the inside of the design. I stack several pieces and pin them together using T-pins. This stack can then be cut on a saw and you have cut three individual pieces with only one cut. To create the handle, I cut three strips of 10mm foam that measure an inch and 5 8 wide by 22 inches long. Then I glue two of the strips together with contact cement. Since I'm keeping the texture inward, I make sure to apply a generous layer of cement. Then I speed up its drying time with a heat gun. Then finally press the two pieces together. My supports consist of a paint stir stick and two 19 and a quarter inch long dowels. I trace their outline onto the 10 millimeter piece which will be in the middle and use my rotary tool with a sanding drum to carve a channel deep enough to house the supports. Then I attach the supports into this channel with hot glue. I start with the paint stir stick, which has had space for the dowels cut into it. And then glue in the dowels. On the third 10mm foam strip, I carve a slight channel. This one doesn't need to be as deep, we just want there to be enough room so that it will sit flat on top of the others. Then this is attached with contact cement. I need to shape the top of the handle before proceeding, so I use one of the axe heads to guesstimate a general shape, and proceed to shape the end with my rotary tool. Now it's time to attach the axe head. I start by gluing the center pieces onto the bottom piece. Note how I remove the center of one of the axe head pieces to make room for the handle. Mm -hmm. 
The handle is then glued into this opening. And then the third piece can then be glued on top of all of this. I use the template to draw the bevel lines and then begin to bevel the edges with my rotary tool and sanding drum. I also use my rotary tool to smooth the top and bottom edges of the axe head. Then I round off the handle. I start with the corners and continue to carve away the foam to get an organic shape. Once I have the basic shape of the handle, I adjust my sanding drum so it sticks off the support by about a quarter of an inch and begin carving the wood grain. The harder I press, the deeper the groove will be, so I vary the pressure to vary the surface. Then I use the heat gun to seal all the 10mm foam before continuing with the build. For the grip, I take a strip of 2mm foam and wrap it around the handle and secure it with drops of CA glue. Then I take a thinner strip of 2mm foam and wrap this over the previous strip, creating an X-cross design. Taking another thin strip, I repeat the X-crossing process on the handle just under the axe head. I then heat seal all the 2mm foam.
Next, I take quick seal and a palette knife and fill in any gaps or spaces I want to hide. And when that is dry, I prepare to coat the axe in Plasti Dip. Once the Plasti Dip has cured overnight, I base the handle with a burnt umber. I want the axe to match the shield, so I'm using a similar paint palette. I made sure to really press the paint into all the grooves. Then I dry brush some white mixed with a little bit of burnt umber over the areas which need to look like wood. Then I take raw sienna and make a wash and brush this in spots across the wood. Next, I mix a chestnut wash and apply this on the handle near the 2mm foam wrappings. Then I take a jet black wash and paint this where the 2mm foam touches the 10mm foam. Next, I base the 2mm with the raw sienna. These areas will be made to look like aged leather. Once that layer was dry, I took nutmeg brown, made a wash, and painted over top of the raw sienna. Next, I thin some burnt umber and apply this in all the creases in the leather. I then dab these areas with a paper towel. And then repeat the same process with some thinned jet black. I then painted the entire axe head with the jet black to make sure I had an even acrylic layer over top of the Plasti Dip layer. When that's dry, I take some metallic sterling silver acrylic and pounce this on the axe except for the beveled areas. I dab with a paper towel and make sure to let some of the black still remain visible. The beveled areas are painted solid sterling silver.
To add a little more detail, I took some thin strips of 2mm foam and braided these through the hole in a 3D printed tooth. I want to attach this to the grip, so I pull it under one of the wrapping pieces and attach with CA glue. The excess can be trimmed off and then the foam can be painted like the rest of the leather. Using the same colors that I used to age the wood and the leather, I add some texture to the tooth. By building up layers of paint, dabbing away some, and adding more layers, you can achieve an aging effect that has depth and doesn't look fake. And there you have it, a Viking inspired double headed axe featuring a dragon tooth detail. I hope you enjoyed this build as much as I did. If you would like to make one for yourself, you can find the template below. I made this axe to accompany my shield. Now I have to find the perfect spot to display them together. Feel free and check out all the House of Props merch. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends and family, and subscribe to House of Props. And remember, if you are building any of my builds or using any of my templates, feel free and tag me at House of Props on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok because I would really like to see your fantastic work. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.